Hey everyone, something a little bit different this week because to be honest, I haven't been feeling so well lately and I might make a video on that later down the road. For now, we're bringing in a guest commentator named Max to take over for a little while and he's super good so I'd really appreciate it and it'd mean the world to me if you could show him some love. Don't worry, I'm still here doing everything I was previously except for the voice work so thanks again for tuning in and I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, it is an absolute honor to be able to do these plays with you for the top 5 plays of the week so without further ado, let's get into it. Starting us off at the number five spot, we have Tomathrex on Zed. He's going to be running over the top lane, trying to help out his teammates, but he's going to be too late, so he's going to go for the clean. Meanwhile, Ash's arrow stuns him as Jarvan's going to be setting up a Dragon Strike, pops him up before Tomathrex goes out, takes down Jarvan. Deathmark's going on a dodge the ball with a Living Shadow, hits him all with Shurikens, and goes back on his Deathmark Shadow to take down Blitzcrank. But just before you think it's over, Ash shows up to the party as he baits her over to him. Lucian helps out, and he goes back for the Quadra and obtains it. Let's take a look at this one again. Takes down J4 barely. Deathmark's Oriana, Living Shadows to dodge the command from Oriana. Goes back on the Deathmark Shadow to auto attack Blitzcrank. Beautiful kill. At our number four spot, we have Krikus playing Wukong. The blue team is applying pressure in the mid lane and they really want the second tier tower, but they're so preoccupied they don't even notice Krikus teleporting behind them. They get the tower and they try to back off and disengage, but it's too late. Krikus is there, goes in with the Nimbus Strike and pops them all up with a five-man Cyclone. Takes down Karma, Jinx, and Trundle instantly. And now it's just a cleanup from here as Lee Sin allows Wukong to claim his rightfully earned Quadra Kill. All right, our third play of the week is going to be coming in from Hataiga. And Hataiga is going to be playing some Alistar. Looks like his team is going to be on the defending side of the situation as Twisted Fate and Elise are very low. They're going to be rushing back to their base to heal up. So it's just Darius and Alistar defending this inhibitor turret. Red team has Baron. It's looking real grim until the headbutt pulverized combo knocks up four members of the red team. Corky gets absolutely blasted by the tower. And an ignite from Alistar is going to be taking him out of the fight. Meanwhile, this bought them enough time for his teammates to show up. A Hataiga flashing on top and getting a nice three-man pulverize right there as Darius dunks on top of Katarina. It's just going to be a nice cleanup from here. Hataiga's like, you know what? I did my job. I'm going to take down the Siege minion right here as Darius picks up a triple kill and a nice coin is going to be stopping Mundo from going B. The flash from Twisted Fate into the gold card and Elise picks up the ace for a well-deserved setup from Hataiga right there. All right, let's take a look at the number two spot featuring Sexiest Bunny on Riven. They're a little bit behind right now. The red team has a 6k gold lead over them, so the next fight really counts. As Thresh goes in, gets a nice death sentence on Nidalee, but she's able to disengage because of Lulu's wild growth. So the red team's going to continue to push this tower. Meanwhile, Sexiest Bunny is setting something up, and he goes in, sets up a beautiful wombo combo for his team. We're going to take a look at that one again because there's a lot going on in that play. So here we go. Chum the waters from Fizz coming out. Meanwhile, the flash into the five-man broken wings, into the wind slash, into the cyclone as well. Just a beautiful play all around. And our number one spot is going to be going to simply Bun Bun on LeBlanc. Starts off by trying to destroy into his ear, but gets pushed back from Emperor's Divide. Meanwhile, Shifting Sands is going to render him very low as he distorts away, dodges Malphite's Unstoppable Force by going back on that distortion. Meanwhile, his teammates are getting picked off one by one as Mundo and Jenks are going to be taking out this fight. Teemo's all the way back in the base, so it's just simply Bun Bun by himself, so he's going to be looking for the pick as Azir and Kleestar are heading over to his direction. Wraps around the corner, hits him with a back-to-back -back distortion, and bursts down Kleestar with a chain. Meanwhile, he Zonia's the red buff, so he doesn't get taken down by that. Distorts away from the Shifting Sands from Azir. Tom Kench flashes over the wall, simply Bun Bun trying to dodge the tongue. He's going to distort away. Azir flashes, Shifting Sand is not going to land. He goes back on the distortion, mimics distortion, goes back on that distortion, chains Azir. He's looking for the juke, he gets it, and he will be Taking Tom Kench down as well. Shows a little of that mastery right there. Here we go. The back-to-back -back distortion into the chain with that Thunderlord's degree pop in. Here we go. Back on the mimic distortion and barely gets the chain on his ear. And for our bonus clip, we have Kasiki Noseda playing Lissandra. Goes back to the base to heal up. Meanwhile, the blue team is trying to take down Bear Nasher right now. And it looks like they're going to be able to do it. No one in the area from the red team to stop them. And they get it, but here comes Kasiki. Oh my goodness, the blue team gets instantly taken out and Kasiki acquires a quadruple kill. Let's take a look at that one again. He teleports behind them, flashes in, and uses every single ability at one time. 
Beautiful stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's top five plays. We'll see you next time.